Kaiji episodes two and three. I just want to say this is like one of my favorite pictures I've ever drawn for for doing the whiteboard. I had so much fun with this art style. So basically it's a very, very complicated game of Junkin. <laughs> very complicated. Overly complicated. I mean it's basically Junkin, but they have to regulate it somehow. You have to use all your cards. You have 12, so four of each. You know, you have tw four rocks, four paper, four, four scissors, and you have to hang on to three of your stars by any means possible. Does that mean you can just steal them from people? If I'm the most badass guy on the ship, I might just take one. They're not informed what to do with the money. They're not informed what will happen if they lose. They, they're not answering any additional questions. They explain the rules of the game, and then the guy's like, that's all. He tells them that rather thinking about rather than thinking about losing, they should just think about winning, because they're already they already suck. So they might as well make something better of themselves. So the game begins, and uh, everyone kind of separates. No one's actually playing right now. Oh wait, one guy's actually play one game. So um, Kaiji's trying to think of some kind of way to win that isn't just chance. The other guy who also borrowed the most money kind of seeks Kaiji out and is like, hey, we kind of seem like birds of a feather. He think He's thought up a 100% chance of survival. All you need is a partner, and it's like, we, we should be partners. We both borrowed the most money. We're obviously the best here. All they have to do is use up their cards against each other. Just, you know, both throw down rock, both throw down scissors until the very end, so that you have three stars at the end, and they use up all their cards. Funai admits that he has done this before. He's been on this cruise before. And he reveals that you can sell the stars. Like I I, I thought that there were other ways to win the stars. So you can sell them to people if they need them. So this seems like a great strategy if you can trust the partner that you get together with. So Kaiji agrees the two of them start their official games. I'm actually like genuinely getting really nervous. I'm, like, afraid that Funai is gonna backstab him at the end. Oh yeah, sure enough, they they do it, they do it, uh, nine times correctly, and then Funai makes a mistake, and then they play the next round, and sure enough, Funai betrays him again, and takes two out of his, uh, three stars, and so now Kaiji only has one star left and one card left. So now Kaiji needs two more stars, but he only has one card, obviously. Um, so he has to... He has to buy at least one more. He has to win one and then buy one. Kaiji is absolutely devastated. And he's like, who can I... Who can I tell? <laughs> he, he's trying to, like, tell people that, like, what Funai did, but of course no one cares, and Funai is just like, you're the idiot for trusting me. And the officials point out, like, you didn't do anything against the rules, so get over it and do what you can. So now Kaiji is, he's more angry at himself than he is at Funai for, for not, um, for, for allowing himself to let someone else decide his destiny. But as Kaiji is wallowing in self-pity, he looks up and he sees the guy off in the distance that, um, Fur Furuhata, who co-signed for, and the reason why Kaiji has all of these crazy debts, because of this guy. He chases down Furuhata to the bathroom. And he's like, hey, Furuhata has one star and four cards left. Kaiji wants to team up. They'll use his money and Furuhata's cards, and they'll get their stars, get stars back. They go back into the break room, and they're trying to find someone who has two stars and no cards, and they can use that man. So now the three of them have created an alliance. This guy's name is uh, Ando. So they have four stars, five cards, um, and like 14 million. What's gonna happen? How are they gonna win? On the next episode. Let's watch. The question I have is if Kaiji is gonna maintain his morality or if he's just using these people in order to get his own stars. Furuhata was kind of an idiot. He gave one of his cards to um, Ando and just kind of like walked off because he was like, he said he'd feel more comfortable if he had a card. So Kaiji's like, oh my god, you idiots! They have to go find him and get the card back. Sure enough, they run back into the main room, and Ando is playing a game with the one card that he has. <laughs> and Ando ends up losing. So it was like, all right, now we have one less card <laughs> and one less star. <laughs> Ando claims that he was trying to bring the group stars up to um, one more. but uh, So he's like, I still want to be in the group. But um, according to Kaiji, there's still a way to win. 
Kaiji thinks it's important not to kick out Ando just because they don't trust him. They swore that they would all make it out together, and so they can't just kick people out when it's convenient. All of their cards are scissors, um, so it's gonna make it a little more difficult. <laughs> Kaiji apparently thought of a really great idea to win. So Kaiji's gonna go around and try to buy stars, and he sends the other two off to find a man who has nine cards and, um, you know, <laughs> various conditions, basically. Go find a guy who, who fits under A, B, and C. Go. <laughs> so he's having a difficult time finding someone who would, um, who will sell a star. Because, you know, there's still hours left of the competition, so people aren't willing to sell just yet. They have to get more desperate. Furhata and Ando find the guy who meets all the conditions. Um, and so, you know, Kaiji's a little bit worried about only having one star, but um, he, he's gonna he's gonna try it anyway. So the guy that they find really likes playing against people who only have one star. He likes defeating them completely and knocking them out of the competition. So Kaiji's like, this is perfect. We can definitely trick him into playing against us. They start talking about balancing your deck out and using the different kinds of cards. And Furuhata admits that he was just using cards randomly, which is why he ended up with so many scissors at the end. So Kaiji is is betting on the fact that if the guy has a balanced deck, then he's gonna use his extra card. And hopefully, the extra card is the paper, so that they can win using scissors. <laughs> Yay! And they did it right! The guy threw down a paper, so Kaiji wins and gets a star. Whew! The guy is like, ugh, whatever, and he's about to walk away, and Kaiji's like, no, 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 we're gonna play one more game. The guy assesses the group of three, and he's like, oh, she's a bunch of losers. I, I can totally win against them. So Kaiji ends up losing the next game, unfortunately. But then the guy wants to play one more game because he's assuming the whole balance thing that we talked about earlier. So Kaiji only has two cards left, so the guy is like, oh, so that means he must have only uh, rock and paper left over. So that means if I play him two more times, I know exactly how to beat him because he's not assuming that their entire deck is scissors. And of course, Kaiji knew this was coming, this was all part of his plan, so he's like, yeah, Ando and Furuhata are freaking out, and he's like, guys, just shut up, let me do my thing, God! They know that this guy is gonna use paper twice in a row, so it's perfect. I love it when they flash to, like, the metaphor, like, now this is Kaiji jumping over a, tri a cliff, now this is Kaiji walking across a bridge, now he's tromping through a swamp. <laughs> it's so funny. So Kaiji wins that round and he gets the star back and the guy is like, one more time! He He's convinced that he can get him the last time because he's like, there's no way you came up against me with four scissors in your hands. And yeah, so when Kaiji throws down that fourth pair of scissors, the guy is horrified, but he has to give up that star. So now Kaiji has three stars. The other two guys only have one each, so Hopefully they can buy it, but that's if Kaiji keeps up his end of the bargain. I mean, he did use their cards. Or, I guess Ando's not really bringing anything to the table at this point. <laughs> and that's the end of episode three. It's like the most absolutely dramatic game of rock, paper, scissors I've ever seen. <laughs> they still need um, four more stars for the other two guys. Um, and we'll see what happens, because I, I do feel compelled to keep watching the show. I mean, if they could make a game of rock, paper, scissors that interesting so that I was feeling, like, genuine nervous emotions while I was watching it, then, like, what else? Like, the game isn't even over yet. It's been two full episodes of rock, paper, scissors, and I loved it. So, you gotta keep watching after that. I'm gonna be looking at a giant uh, chunk of episodes in the next group, so I'll just uh, see you for that. Bye!